Well, it's a beautiful Sunday morning and I'm just finishing off my coffee um, and uh, just had my breakfast and I'm getting ready to go on a uh, 12 kilometer hike to an abandoned airport um, quite high up in the mountains. Now, the cool thing about being um, on Koh Phangan is there's some great Facebook communities and they have all sorts of events happening um, all over the island. Anyway, I joined the hiking group because I'm trying to you know, get a bit more into shape. Um, and I think it's also, you know, could be a good, good, um, good place to meet people. And this is, uh, when you're traveling, traveling alone, it's really important to get out there, meet people rather than just sitting on the beach and working. Um, I think it's important to get out there, actually meet people, interact, do cool things uh, and push your boundaries. And to be honest, I would just rather, you know, I would have rather just kind of like lay on the beach today uh, since it's Sunday. Um, but I've decided to do this hike and it's a kind of intermediate hike. So I'm a bit worried about it because it has been raining this morning, which means it's going to be super humid um, uh, today. The skies have now just cleared. So it is starting to get, starting to get warm, starting to heat up. Um, but um, you know, it's all about pushing boundaries. Uh, so I look forward to uh, this hike today. Um, we're all meeting um, outside 7-Eleven. I believe there's gonna be like 20 or 30 of us. Um, so it should be fun. Uh, let's see what we can find. So we just started the hike, <laughs> already tired, went up some really steep hills. Uh, so far it's, it's not too bad going because it's kind of mainly under shade. I'm here with my friend uh, Tom here, uh, also from the UK. Um, but yeah, some absolutely stunning views. Check this out. It's an airport area, that's on maps me, that's north, yeah, that's west, that's where we came from. And yeah, on maps me it does show a trail, which looks quite nice here. But I really assumed it was a trail before there was the airport construction because it's only cut to about halfway for some reason. And then the second half will be about like that, you will see. That's also one of the reasons why shoes are quite good to have, but you do what you do, yeah, if you're barefoot. And then once we come out there of the forest, it's like coming to uh, the rim of a volcano. It's like, whoa! So going down a trail here, uh, quite overgrown. Um, got to switch to my long trousers because uh, I didn't fancy getting stung. Um, so as you can see, it's a little bit more jungly than the concrete road we were on before. Cool. Wait, we're actually going down here? <laughs> yeah, well, you we can just stay on the rim and go through the jungle, that's up to you. Oh, what about going uh, from Yeah, yeah, I'll still uh, try to be a hero and go in front and you can then see how I'm doing. You can just go there and catch us. Yeah, we can hold off with some meditation as well. Yes. Alright. It's all taken away by humans, by big machines. I think even there were some explosions as well. So this is the abandoned airport, a uh, pretty cool hike through some serious jungle. Um, I'm absolutely shattered, so we're going to carry on. Uh, I, I took the easy way down rather than the crazy way down like this lady here. <laughs> you okay? That was I, I, I was that too scared was to do that. So, yeah, the taller you are, the easier it is. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think so. Why? Yeah, because so. you have longer legs. Yeah. Oh, Pepper, you okay? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was a fucking Matrix move, right? I recorded there. it. I've got it on video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Whoa>, shit! <laughs> 
the video, yeah? <laughs> so how do you feel now? Fucking amazing! Okay, more I to come. I love my life. <laughs> Say, walking down a steep hill and trying to vlog at the same time is probably not a good idea. So I'm going to put the camera away and we'll catch up later. <laughs> wow, so I am super glad that I made the effort uh, to come here today. So one of these things I was a bit worried because it's like a 12 kilometer hike in this heat and humidity and almost didn't come. And again, Kind of proves the point. I'm so pleased that I came today. Um, yeah, made some good friends, good connections, and yeah, good just having food. just having fun meeting people, and yeah, really great bunch of people. And this is a fascinating area to be in. Um, this abandoned airport, um, and we trekked through some really thick undergrowth and jungle, kind of thing you just should not do on your own, but in a group, you know, it's fine. And to be honest, that's what life's all about. Life's about taking. You're having the adventure, going beyond your comfort zone and trying new things. So we're not even halfway through. I'm going to push on and uh, let's see what we can find. So we just had to go through a barbed wire fence. It seemed to be the only way to get out of this airport strip. So we're kind of like officially trespassing now. <laughs> so we're having to be a little bit quiet and uh, hope we don't bump into anybody. And hopefully we don't get into trouble. So. So how are you finding the hike so far? Good? Uh, you glad uh, you did it? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's yeah. great. Only the first bit was a bit exhausting. That was very steep, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but really nice. It's always good to step outside your comfort zone, isn't it? It and is. And do something new. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And good for the, for the health. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of laying on the beach. <laughs> so what's at the top of the hill? So we've got to go up there. I'm going to leave my poles here so no one trip over my poles. That's so cool, there's a ladder. So we just climbed to the top of this boulder. There's like steps and railings coming up here. So 
Uh, yeah, well worth coming up here if you're ever up by the abandoned airport. And uh, as you can see, an absolutely stunning view. My watch is going crazy because I keep saying, you've achieved your goal, you've done all these steps. Um, but yeah, definitely worth coming up here if you're um, in the area. So we hiked to the other end of the uh, airport and we've got an incredible view of the, uh, the sea there. And uh, some other people at the top there getting some nice uh, photos at the top. <laughs> Great place for a photo opportunity. Um, so uh, yeah, some amazing views. And the sun has finally come out, which to be honest, isn't necessarily a good thing because it is so hot. Um, I'm just looking forward to lunch where we can all sit down and eat something and drink something and have a little rest. Wow, well, we finally made it. Uh, the hike is over, <laughs> it survived only just. Uh, I found it really hard going. Uh, it was just over 13 kilometers, 500 meters elevation. So quite, you know, quite hilly up and down. And to be honest, in this humidity, that is the thing that just really got me. Um, I really struggled, but we made it. So we've all decamped to a frozen yogurt uh, cafe here on the island. I uh, didn't have any vegan options. That was fine because I had an iced coffee. Uh, but yeah, so uh, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed pushing myself. And it's really important to make the effort because yes, I pushed myself, but I've made some great connections here today, some great friends, and that's what it's all about. Now look, um, this week I've got a really special offer on. Um, I'm actually uh, selling the recordings of a workshop which I put on a couple of months ago. And in that workshop, what I actually teach is the process for making your first sale online. Now look, this is super important because a lot of people struggle with this. I first, I struggled with this when I first started. And you know, making your first sale is like the most important thing you can do as a marketer. And what I'm not talking about is making like a, uh, like a sale by accident almost. What I'm talking about is making predictable sales using Using predictable traffic, traffic that you are in control of, uh, so that you can put a process in place that you know will make a sale. Uh, and I'm not talking about paid traffic here, by the way. And in fact, actually, whilst I was on the hike, um, I've just checked my phone and I made something like seven or I think it was seven sales. I thought I'd done eight, but I hadn't. It was actually seven sales I did whilst I was actually on that hike, uh, which is pretty incredible because I've got these processes in place. So look, this is what we covered uh, during this workshop. And I went over everything step by step in order, uh, so, you know, basically so that you can make your first sale online within seven days of watching the recordings of this workshop. Now this week I'm offering the recordings for only $67. Uh, at the end of this promotion, uh, the price will go back up to $97, but right now you can get this for $67. It's changed my life. It's enabled me to be able to travel the world, do cool things like I've done today, and still have those sales coming in, which is so important. Um, okay guys, well, uh, what I want you to do now is click on the link, uh, which will either be below this video in the description or above this video, and that will take you through to the form uh, where you can sign up. And remember, action takers win. So take action with this. Don't just think about it. Take action, you know, jump in, uh, watch the videos and take action and you will make your first sale uh, within seven days. So I look forward to working with you and I'll speak to you soon.